everybody and welcome to ESO Daily. I am your host, Mr. Craven. All right, guys, so I have a new Stamina DK build for Somerset. This is called Rancid. This is a pretty good build and it's easily accessible. That's why I really like it. It'll get you through majority of the content. You might want to arrange a few things maybe for vet trials, but you could probably take this in a couple of vet trials without any problems. It'll really perform well. It, you'll still work in AA and Hell Raw. You might want to make some adjustments in some of the most uh, harder uh, vet trials, but majority of the content in this game, this build will perform, and I'm really happy to bring it to you today. Welcome and say hello to the Rancid build. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, going into the character sheet. Now this is a bow two-handed build. Okay, so I'll, I am a Khajiit. This build has been configured to a Khajiit. Now, if you want to go with Red Guard, the only thing you're going to have to change is the static set. I will be getting into that. But with the character sheet, you're going to see my max health at 19,218. Uh, stamina is 32,263. Stamina recovery, 1422. Uh, weapon damage, 2250. I will be getting into that. Spell resistance, 15.9. Physical resistance, 14.9. To the left, you're going to go ahead and see we have four points allocated into health, 60 into stamina. We are using the Lover Mundus. We are using max um, health and max stamina food. If you want to go with Dubious Kamora Throne, you can do that. All right. Now on the two-handed side, not much has changed. 33, 609, 19, 2, and 23. And you'll see my weapon critical is at 51 on this bar. Now keep in mind with this build, you will be relying on potions. So you will be relying on uh, major brutality, and major savagery potion. So keep that in mind with this build. You will be relying on that. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the sets here. Okay. So we're going to once again be using the master bow, right? I really like this. If you want to use Maelstrom, you can't with this build. This build is not designed for Maelstrom at all because we're not using Endless Hail. But here's the deal. If you don't have Master Bow, there's a trick. And I'm going to share that with you guys today. So notice in my character sheet, we have 32,263 stamina, right? If you don't have it, do yourself a favor and get the Hulking Draugr Bow. Bingo. Now you have two stats and you're adding stamina. You're adding extra stamina. And there you go. It's still not going to perform as well as the Master Bow, but it will give you the extra stats and a loyal extra damage. So if you don't have the Master, don't have the Maelstrom, don't worry. Grab the Hulking Draugr Bow. Okay? There you guys go. All right. So once again, um, Mastered, Poison Glyph. So whatever bow you're going to go with, go poison damage now you can go with a huntings you can craft even a huntings rage bow that's fine it will give you a two a two slot stat that's why i said grab any bow that's going to give you the two-handed uh stat all right poison damage nern hall you want the poison damage on this side you will not use infused you will use nern hall morning alfonso hope you're doing well brother nern hall on this build right not infused typically you go with infused on this but you want the nern hall Okay, Swamp Raiders Battle Axe, Nern Hone. This will have your increase, so it's been reversed. Usually I keep a poison on this, and then I'll go with uh, increase here. We're doing heavy attacks with the 2H, two, uh, two so we want to put the increase here because this is where we're going to be deriving a lot of our heavy attacks. So 2H right here. Why? Because the follow-up passive in the 2H. We're going to use the Spawn of Mephlia, believe it or not. Why? 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 Well, one thing it gives me max stamina, right? Do your and uh, pop out your calculator. First thing I want you to do is just pop out your calculator. Now notice something here. When I deal damage with a fully charged heavy attack, now remember I told you I'm going to be weaving with heavy attacks a lot with this build. It's very important. I'm going to create a web. There's no percentage chance. It's a guarantee. It's 100% guaranteed to go down like this. For 10 seconds, that deals 1,529, morning David, poison damage every second to all enemies within 4 meters. This effect can occur every 10 seconds. There's no downtime. There is zip. 
Nada. Zero downtime for the spawn of Mephlia. And it will deal how much damage? Take it. You know, take your calculator right now. And what you, I want you to do is take 1,529 times 10. And how much damage is it, is it dealing? 15,290 over 10 seconds. Now, here's the kicker. What I want you to do is also take a look at Belladrath. 13,725. This effect can occur every 9 seconds. You divide 13,725 by 9. So I want you to just divide that, acting like if it was a per second now. So take 13, 7, 2, 5, divide it by 9, if it was to do this. And it would be 1525, right? So when I come back up, I'm doing 1529. You see what I'm saying? The damage isn't lost with this monster set at all. There's no damage lost. So Mystic is a furry now. <laughs> I just went with Khajiit. Just wait. You can go where Red Guard and I'll be getting into that. But no loss of damage with the heavy attack build. None. You have to do heavy attacks, but no loss of damage. Really, really nice. Spriggan's jacket. Okay, so we're going with the Spriggan set. Now here's the kicker. You go Red Guard, you use two fang serpent and deduct the difference in the champion points. That's the difference. Why? Because of the crit. I have no crit in this set. I'm a Khajiit. Remember, Khajiits get that passive towards uh, their racial of 8%. Don't need two fang with a Khajiit. I want to increase damage. So as a Khajiit, I have what? I have an indifferent curve that can occur due to me not needing another critical value. So red guard, two fang, Khajiit, Spriggans. Love it. Okay, Spawn of Mephlia. So we have a heavy and we have a light. So it's a 611 config, right? Very important. So we can maintain that on Daunted Passive 6%. Spriggan's Jacket, this is an all divine build. So Head's divine, Jacket's divine, Mephlia divine with a health. Spriggan's Belt divine, health. Two health piece, two health glyphs. Spriggan's Bracers divine, max stamina. Spriggan's Guards, Divine Max Stamina. Spriggan's Boots, Divine Max Stamina. Now here's the kicker. Remember, we're using the Axe of Swamp Raiders. So we want all three Swamp Raider jewelry. We want one Bloodthirsty, two Infused with Recovery, and one Weapon Damage. Right? Really, really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, get into... Now, if you guys want to know what Swamp Raider does, for those who don't know, it's going to give me a critical value, it's going to give me weapon damage, it's going to give me max stamina. When I deal damage with a magical ability, my poison and disease abilities gain an additional 434 weapon damage for 10 seconds. That will not re be reflected in character sheet. It will, however, be reflected in tooltip. Okay, there we have it. Okay, going to the skills. Bobar. Remember, guys, no endless hail. Why? I'm using Swamp Raiders, right? So what do I? What am I going to do? I'm going to increase the weapon damage of my poison and disease. So what do I want to use? Yeah, I want to use poison damage, right? So I'm going to be able to go ahead and burst a fire a burst of arrows, one shot, dealing in a, a direct initial damage of 5,436 poison damage to enemies in front of me, and reduce their speed and deal an additional. 5,390. Now, when Swamp Raiders kicks in, this scales up. So, I want to take advantage of it. Poison Injector, it's also used for my Master Belt. And guess what? Yep, deals poison damage. Very, very important to keep that in mind. But remember, if you don't have the Master Bow, go with the Hulking Draugr, hun hunting, craft yourself a Hundings. Just make sure it's Nernhorn. Okay, Shadow Silk. Typically, I would have Caltrops here. But I want to use the Shadow Silk. Why? I'm going to do what? Poison damage. And then on top of it, I'm offering a synergy to my party members. Really, really nice with this build. Rearming Trap. Pretty standard. Molten Armaments. Now, this doesn't give me my Major Brutality. It gives me Major Sorcery. But here's the kicker. Your own damage with fully charged heavy attacks is increased by 40%. 
That's huge. That's what I'm going to be doing. That is kind of my spam. It's, it's what I'm doing in between all my dots is doing heavy attacks. So I want to take advantage of this. Standard of Might. This is um, my other, my, my swap out between my ultimates. I chose this. You can use the Toxic Barrage if you want to. The only reason I like this is when I'm standing in the area, it increases my damage done by 15%. So I really like it, to be honest with you. Morning, Papa. Okay, 2H bar. Venomous Claws. Poison Damage. Noxious Breath. Poison Damage. Brawler. This is going to be physical damage, but guess what it's going to do? It's going to offer a bleed. It's my spammable with mobs. So just like the dual wield uses um, Steel Tornado, Brawler works the same way. Because remember, a light attacks with the 2H deal splash damage, right? If you add that with the Brawler on top of your Noxious Breath and your Acid Spray, everything's going to die as far as trash. Now, here's the what I really like about the 2H, especially on the DK. I get a finisher. Now, this finisher isn't going to deal a lot in comparison to some, using a set like Hunting's Rage because I'm using Swamp Raider. But nevertheless, I have a finisher and I'm using Bloodthirsty. So the damage is magnified by using the Executioner on top of Bloodthirsty. Really, really powerful. Love it. Love it. Now, here's my kicker. I'm going to use the Flames of Oblivion, which is not new to Stam DKs. I've never used it on certain builds. This build, it works out really well. Why? Because it procs the Swamp Raider. It's a set and forget. It's my mag magical damage ability that procs the Swamp Raider. Really love it. Morning, Helly. Morning, Robert. Hope you all are doing well. I'm really glad to see everybody. So, that's the kicker is the Flames of Oblivion. And of course, the Flawless Dawnbreaker, that increases our weapon damage by 5% while it's slotted. And of course, we get that additional 3% for Slayer, making an additional three, so that's 8% towards our damaging effects. All right, so we have the skills, we have the sets. Now let me show you guys how this is gonna work out really quick. First thing I'm gonna always do is just put up the Flames of Oblivion. And once I come up and engage, it's going to throw out. When it does, it's a proc. There it is. It's not we're going to be reflected in tooltip, right? It's just not. But the damage is applied. Now watch. When I do a heavy attack, there it is. Spawn and Mephlia. And then I get that follow-up passive, right? And the 2H. So when I do a, when I do a heavy attack... My, direct, my next direct damage uh, effects increase by 10%. Remember that Venomous Claws has a direct effect prior to the poison. Noxious Breath has a direct effect prior to the poison. Brawler has a direct effect prior to the poison. All of these have direct effects. That's why it's a heavy attack build. So all I have to do is set, do a heavy attack, apl apply the poison. Heavy attack, apply the poison. Heavy attack, and it's going to keep firing the spawn of Mephlia. You need reverse slice. I like the AoE damage for execution. Well, that's for PV, um, PvP Storm. This is PvE. Remember, when I'm on a boss encounter, a lot of times they don't have adds. So I'm going to deal more, a little bit more damage with the executioner. On, on trash, I don't need um, a reverse slice. Why? Because I'm dealing so much AoE damage. Same thing with Brawler. Let me show you guys the trick with Brawler. Okay, I'm once again, I'm going to hit this. Going to apply this. And then all I have to do is light attack and weave. Okay. And that's it. You have AOE effects applied. Tons and tons of AOEs. And that Flames of Oblivion just keeps firing it no matter on the bar, what bar swap you go for. You guys were PvPing on Xbox on Saturday. I was running my Stamplar Saturday night for the pack. Oh, was you? Uh, I don't know. I, what? Did you see us? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We might have been there. But once again, so bound armament, man. Okay, let me let it drop off. Wow. Well, let me just show you what the heavy attack does. Yeah. 
Okay, 12 on a crit. Now I'm gonna let it drop off. And you're going to be able to maintain resources really well with this build. Between 11 and 12 on a crit, depending on enchantment proc. Let that drop off. Now we're only at 9. Alright. Without that. So we're losing almost 3,000 damage without this ability. So you really want to take advantage of the Molten Armament. You really do it with this build. It's it's crucial. Very crucial. Don't use the one, the Major Brutality. Molten Armor Mint. All the way. So I'm really liking this. Rancid. I'm telling you guys. Love it. But let's go ahead and get into the champion points really quick and cover what we need to know. Nothing into the Apprentice. Coming over to the Atronaut. Remember, this is a heavy attack build. So we're going to scale Physical Weapon Expert on top of our Molten Armor Mints. We're going to put 56 into Mastered Arms. And the Butcher, we're going to be able to maintain that uh, with 75 points allocated. Coming over into the Ritual, we have 27 into Piercing. Now keep in mind, if you're a Red Guard and you're using Two Fang Serpent, you take this down by an additional almost 1,200, I want to say. Um, 42, uh, 3,001. So yeah, almost like 1,100. You'll, you'll take this down. You'll take this and then you'll reallocate back into your Thaumaturge or your Mighty. You can take it into Mighty and put a couple points. Okay. So, um, piercing 2004 with this build. If you're a Red Guard and you, um, Two Fang, readjust that mighty 1301 precise strikes 1208 equivalent value of the shadow monus and different curve blah 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 thaumaturge 20.15 coming over into the steed 40 in the ironclad 10 in the spell shield 45 in the medium armor focus hardy and elementary uh, defender are both split with 43 points allocated 13 in the thick skin quick recovery has 1208 allocation uh, Warlord 10.22, Sprinter 12.10, Tenacity 13.01, Mooncalf 14, Healthy um, 206, Shadow Ward 13.13, and Tumbling 13.13, and that is how the champion points are allocated. We were wondering if you were on. <laughs> I, I hunting. If you see a werewolf, high chance it was me. Okay, all right, sounds good, David. But, uh, yeah, definitely, guys, this is Rancid. I love this build. I'm not going to lie. This is a really great DK build. I'm really happy about it. I'm actually ecstatic about this build. So, And it's easy. It's accessible. Now, keep in mind, quick reminder, if you don't have the Master Bow, don't fret. Craft the Hundings. You'll get the two slot or slot of Hulking Draugers, and you'll get the Stamina. Okay. That's simple. If you want to use Asylum, you can. That will increase the uh, arrow, your poison injector. Okay? So there you guys have it. Rancid. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your support. I'm Mr. Craven, the CSO Daily. And as always, thank you and have a nice day.